In this video, we are going to learn facts about Cinco de Mayo for kids! Yay! Kids facts for Cinco de Mayo! You're gonna know so much about Cinco de Mayo, you're just gonna wanna talk to everyone about it and be like, <gasps> Cinco de Mayo is so cool and I understand it because I saw the video! Cinco de Mayo is an amazing celebration that has food, music, dancing, parades, and more. Cinco de Mayo is Spanish for May 5th, the day that it is celebrated. Cinco de Mayo is mainly celebrated in Mexico and the United States, though there are celebrations in other parts of the world. Okay, wait, we've been saying the word celebration a lot. What are we celebrating during Cinco de Mayo? What is this celebration all about? Well, Cinco de Mayo celebrates Mexico's victory over the French at the Battle of Puebla. The Mexican army defeated the French at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. The battle was significant because, first of all, it was an underdog story because the Mexican army was very outnumbered. They had about half the soldiers that the French did, and their army was not as well equipped as the French army was, and yet the Mexican army won. It's also significant because it's an example of the people of Mexico coming together and taking a stand. One year later, the French did defeat the Mexican army and took over Mexico City. The French victory did not last that long. It only lasted three years and they left Mexico. Benito Juarez took over Mexico City and helped reestablish the government there. We mentioned earlier that Cinco de Mayo is mainly celebrated in Mexico and in the United States, but we mentioned there are also celebrations of Cinco de Mayo around the world. Interestingly enough, even in France there are celebrations of Cinco de Mayo, even though Cinco de Mayo celebrates the Battle of Puebla where the French army lost. That's weird. I mean, really, that's that's strange. We can all admit that, right? Right now, we can all say that that's a little bit weird, but there's more to this holiday than meets the eye. Prepare to be shocked and amazed in a segment we call What You Didn't Know About Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that even rhymes. What You Didn't Know About Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that's pretty cool. What you didn't know about Cinco de Mayo. Well, at least what we don't think you know. Maybe you do already know this. Okay, here we go. As many as 81 million avocados are eaten every Cinco de Mayo. 81 million. Wow. Or how about this? Many people confuse Cinco de Mayo with Mexican Independence Day, which is September 16th. Remember, Cinco de Mayo celebrates the victory at the Battle of Puebla, not Mexican Independence Day, which is a different holiday in September. And finally, what you didn't know about Cinco de Mayo, probably, is for most people in the United States and around the world, Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexican culture. Which might explain why Cinco de Mayo is celebrated in France. You know, because the Battle of Puebla, you know, that was not something that the French people would normally want to celebrate, you know? Yay, we lost! You know, they wouldn't do that. But they're celebrating Mexican culture, and for many people around the world, that's what it's about. In Mexico, it's a celebration of the Battle of Puebla, but around the world, it's a celebration of the incredible Mexican culture. So, how do you plan to celebrate Cinco de Mayo? If you don't have any plans yet, that's okay. 
One idea is you can ask a parent or a teacher to help you research and learn more about Mexican culture. Thanks for taking some time today to learn about Cinco de Mayo. Hope you got some awesome facts that you could share with other people because Cinco de Mayo is a cool holiday. We hope you have fun, you know, have a great time celebrating Cinco de Mayo, and we will see you next video.